A KBC 9 News investigation into a man's death. A family is demanding answers as a shooter walks free. The family of a popular Kansas City remodeler still has questions after seeing the police case file. John Bartram died in January at a BP station at 63rd and Prospect. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener got the case file through an open records request. Matt. Chris Lahr, you'll remember Jackson County prosecutor Jean Peters Baker declined to file charges in this case. She said the shooter fired in self-defense using the Castle Doctrine as uh, impetus here. Now we understand more of what the shooter told police. John was an amazing man. John Bartram is remembered by his sister as a great businessman, father and philanthropist. She says the police investigation and lack of charges in her brother's shooting death in the early January morning hours at a gas station at 63rd and Prospect leaves her with so many questions. After reading the police report, the gentleman who shot our brother completely lied to the police and then came up with the story that the police are using today. Norswartz says her brother's gas tank was less than 40 miles to empty. The family believes he was on the way to a casino. A Kansas City police report shows the shooter told police Bartram tried to buy hard drugs from him. This is a picture of the scene from a surveillance video and the shooter said Bartram reached into his vehicle twice to pull him out. The second time, the man pulled the trigger and fled. Police had to serve a warrant on that shooter and coaxed the story out of him after he did not tell the correct version. Bartram's sister says the case just doesn't add up. If, if we're claiming self-defense, his actions don't show me that he was defending himself. He never once came to the police. The police had to find him. He lied initially. He was hiding evidence that the police had to find. All right, so again, this case all hinges on Missouri's Castle Doctrine, which says you have the right to defend your life in your home or your vehicle. Bartram's sister also told us an autopsy showed no drugs in Bartram's system, Chris. All right, Matt, thanks. We reached out to the Jackson County prosecutor today, but have not heard back.